Hey, fellow buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about my bread and butter bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items that I picked up cheap and flipped for a profit. I sold these items on eBay. They all sold for $35 or less. But what you're going to see is that I picked them up cheap. And most of them are easy to list and easy to ship, which is super, super important to me. I like those easy to ship items. I'm not a huge breakable seller. So if you're into that big fancy breakable stuff, there's lots of sellers that sell it and you should definitely check them out. But um, yeah, I like the easy stuff. Hot Wheels, monster trucks, easy to list, easy to ship, easy to find. You can find these things everywhere. Garage sales, thrift stores, even estate sales sometimes, um, but they're monster trucks. I got these at the Goodwill bins, so that's by weight. Probably had a buck or so in these. Sold them for $9.30, and the buyer paid shipping. This one is a Power Rangers Dino Charge Charger. I found this using Google Lens. Google Lens is a fantastic tool to identify items, and it is free. I have a video. Type in Google Lens Bolo Buddies, and it will show you how to use Google Lens. And again, it is free, and every reseller should have it. I sold this for $9.92, and the buyer paid shipping, and I don't remember where I got it or what I paid for it, so I apologize for that. This is a Victoria's Secret brawl. Um, back when I did retail arbitrage clothing, I bought tons of these at a discount store and they are just still slowly selling out of my store. Um, I have tons and tons of Victoria's Secret brawls. This one I took a best offer of 11 for. So if you guys are looking for a brawl, check out my eBay store. It's linked down below. The next item is this baby gunned take along green frog lovey plush with sewn eyes. If it has sewn eyes, that's a good keyword. Those are great for kids that um, could possibly still have like a cho choking hazard because the eyeballs sometimes come off. So sewn eyes is a good keyword for a lot of times people will get these for smaller children or, you know, babies to hold on to. Uh, I got this at the Goodwill bin, sold it for $15.50 in the buyer paid shipping. Stuff it in a poly mailer. I usually use a padded mailer, easy to ship. This is a vintage Walt Disney Mickey Minnie Mouse. Uh, it's a handkerchief and it did have some defects. I got this at a thrift store for $1, took a best offer of eight in the buyer paid shipping. Build-A-Bear Splish Splash Seahorse. Now this goes with a bigger seahorse and I have the big seahorse. I think it's listed. I don't think it's sold yet. Yeah, it's still listed. And this just kind of connects to the arm of it. These little ones, they do sell. So I just put replacement in the title. Took a best offer of 10 on this and the buyer paid shipping. And this came from a viewer as a gift. Disney Parks Hawaii exclusive trading pin. It looks like this. Um, got this in a bulk buy. Sold it for $22.75 and the buyer paid shipping. And this sold pretty quick. This is a Transformer Megatron Cyberverse Ultimate Action Figure by Toomey Toy. And there it is. Always put the measurements in there, guys. People want to know how big the item is. I sold this for $20 and the buyer paid uh, tax and shipping all in for $30.76. And I got this at the Goodwill bins. So that is by weight. So probably a buck or two. I do have a bunch of Goodwill Benz videos. If you guys want to check out how I dig, you can watch me dig. They're super fun. Type in Bola Buddies Goodwill Benz and it'll pull those videos up. This is a Hawaiian shirt. I had a couple of these. This one took a little longer to sell. The first one sold much quicker. I believe I got it at a garage sale for five. Not 100% sure on that, but I sold it for $27.90 and the buyer paid shipping. I always pick up the Hawaiian shirts. This is a folk art hand carved man wine stopper. I may not have had the best uh, keywords on this. It took a long time to sell. Um, I think it's just wood maybe. I don't know. But maybe that would have been a good keyword. Sold it for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. I have no idea where I got it. Like I said, it was listed a long time. I thought it was going to be a quick sale because I think it's really cool. But it was not. Goosebumps postcard book. Uh, got it at a garage sale for $1. And it was missing a lot of the postcards. It was incomplete, 1996. Just put that in your title. Goosebumps can do really well. Um, some of the older books, if you can find a complete set with some of the rarer ones, they can be a bolo. So look that up. Sold this for $8 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a set of frozen uh, toys. I would call them cake toppers as another key word. 
just in case somebody's looking for cake toppers. Got it at a thrift store for 35 cents and sold it for $10 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. This is an Ikea dinosaur Ankylosaurus plush. I got this at the Goodwill Benz and I went ahead and took a best offer of $10 on this guy. Now I wanna show you the Ikea uh, tag. It's really, really big. A lot of them are cut off. So Google Lens is your friend for a lot of stuffed animals. It will help you find them. This is a vintage 1984 A-Team action figure. Again, probably use Google Lens to figure out who this guy is. I'm not familiar with him, but I took a best offer of $9 and the buyer paid shipping, and I don't know where I got that one either. Bunnies by the Bay. This is a plush stuffed animal. I got this at the Goodwill Bins, so again, by weight, so it didn't weigh very much. And this actually sold for $18.60. Another great one with sewn eyes for um, a small child. I think it, does it rattle? Mm, maybe not. Maybe it doesn't. I can't remember. But here's the little uh, imprint here and it says Blossom. Really cute one. 1860 buyer paid. Tax and shipping all in for $26.40. This is a Kasik garter belt. This was another one of those. Um, I bought a whole bunch of them. I think they were a dollar. I probably bought a hundred of them. And uh, Kasik comes in four different sizes. If you can find the Kasik brand, it is a good brand. A lot of times they're marked through. I just put items, tag has been marked through to prevent uh, store returns and I take a photo of it. So I have a whole bunch of these available. If you're interested, they're in my eBay store. And I took a best offer of $6.75 for that one. This is a Fisher House College, or I'm sorry, Challenge Coin, VA Medical Center, Military Families. And this actually sold pretty quickly and I got it in a bulk lot. I sold this for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. So that was one I thought was gonna take a long time to sell and it did not. So sometimes things surprise you. These are Fisher Price roll around balls. And if you don't know about these, these are sensory toys for babies or small children. And they also come in blocks. I always pick these up. Peekaboo is a good word and they always sell. I sold these for $18 and the buyer paid shipping and I got these at the Goodwill for $3. So let me know down in the comments, are these items that you would pick up? Are these items that you would walk past? Are the margins big enough for you or do you like bigger margins? Uh, I do a lot of bread and butter. I'm good with bread and butter, but I do have big money bolo videos too. So if you wanna see the items that I'm selling for big money, you can check those out on my channel as well. Um, I also feature other sellers items that they have sold. So lots and lots of content. I do category videos where I take a category and I break it down and I show you the big money bolos in that specific category. So check those out. It is a great way to learn tons and tons of be on the lookout content. Thank you for being here. I hope you'll subscribe and thanks for watching.